Support us by subscribing, ring the notification bell, press all, and thumbs up. Thank you. What does it mean and what does it take to secure the border? More people? More technology? Maybe a border wall? Like the one between the United States and Mexico. It's been a subject of nearly a million news articles and hundreds of speeches. But do walls really work? And if so, how? As a Border Patrol agent, I can tell you, walls do work. Before any physical infrastructure existed on our 2,000-mile-long border with Mexico, vast areas were wide open, totally vulnerable. Today's threats, like terrorism, drug trafficking, and human smuggling, demand sensible and proven responses. Consider San Diego. In 1992, agents in San Diego sector apprehended more than 560,000 illegal migrants. That was only along a 60-mile stretch, just 3% of the entire U.S.-Mexico border. But that stretch of border didn't have much in the way of infrastructure. There were few barriers, patrol roads, lights or cameras, and there weren't enough agents. 20 years ago in Yuma, Arizona, the Yuma sector was overrun by illegal migrants and drug smugglers. In 2005, each day averaged 800 arrests and a seizure of more than 100 pounds of drugs. Just as with San Diego, Yuma did not have the infrastructure or agents needed to secure the border. In 1996, and again in 2006, bipartisan legislation authorized the U.S. government to build border barriers. And once built, the barriers made a world of difference. By 2010, apprehensions in San Diego had fallen from half a million to just 68,000, an 87% reduction. In Yuma, the story was much the same. Year-over-year year, reductions in border apprehension, thanks in part to investments in border barriers. And this infrastructure proved to be good for our environment and our communities, too. In areas where we constructed barriers, deployed more agents, and gained back control of the border, natural habitats damaged by illegal migration have recovered. Piles of discarded debris disappeared. Neighborhoods and businesses replaced what was once lawless wasteland. A wall works best as part of what we call a border enforcement zone, which includes technology and patrol roads. Border enforcement zones can make a huge difference, but a safe and secure border ultimately depends on men and women in uniform on patrol who faithfully enforce our nation's laws and ensure our national security. If you thought this video was helpful, please feel free to share it.